I guess I was a quite a talker as a kid, at least that's what I'm told. And from a young age, I recall family and friends sort of urging that, hey, someday you'll be a lawyer. And I guess it stuck. And I joined UC in the Office of General Counsel in 1989 as a litigation attorney. I was in court up and down the state representing the various campuses in all types of cases, many of which received public attention as they do today. That's how I got started. Those were exciting and heady times. My first impression to you was just, you were just too sharp for me, as sharp as razor blade. And you are a person with a tremendous integrity. When Jeff was head of litigation for the university, UC's legal team worked on some groundbreaking cases. And just a couple of examples, Martinez versus Regents, where the California Supreme Court upheld legislation allowing undocumented immigrants who attended high school in California to pay in-state tuition. So these are just a couple of examples that show the impact that Jeff has had during his long career at the university. But what I most did remember about Jeff was that he was unfailingly generous with his time, serving as a mentor to me and always being available to offer his wise counsel and his friendship. Well, number one, I just bleed University of California. I love the institution, I always have. So the idea that I might represent the University of California is just beyond the cat's meow to me. We all know Jeff is a great dirt farmer and I've got my picture of him on the tractor complete with a piece of straw coming out of his mouth. It's priceless uh, to think if someone can go help solve the world's cutting edge science problems by day and masquerade as a tomato farmer by night. I was fortunate that we traveled as a kid and I lived uh, for about four years in South and Central America. And what I remember growing up as a kid, nine, 10, 11 years old in, in Ecuador, is I was taught to treat everyone exactly the same. In our household, that's the way it worked. From the big wealthy landowners of the day in South America to the campesinos. And it's been a particular privilege to work alongside Jeff. He's an English major and a lawyer who is completely at home among physicists, chemists, biologists, HR and financial experts, construction managers, and lately health and safety professionals and he's widely known as just a tireless advocate for fairness and justice, which is very important in that job. In my practice, I do try to treat everyone the same, just like I did as I was taught as a kid. As I reflect on my 11 years at Berkeley Lab, that's one of the features of my tenure that I'm really quite proud of. You know, my dad had a saying when I was a kid, it's called serious fun. You can be very serious about the activity and still try and have fun while you're at it. And that's kind of the way I approach. I just, I, I feel like my 11 years at Berkeley Lab, to me, it's the pinnacle of a legal career. It's public service. It's got the federal overlay. I mean, the mission of what we're doing here is so fantastic. I wouldn't change a thing.